This is not gonna go well. <laughs> I just realized that I don't actually have half the things that I thought I did. I don't think it's edible. <laughs> I don't even know if this is about to be postable. Welcome or welcome back to a little bit of everything with lava. By the time you're watching this, it's probably Sunday, so happy Valentine's Day. I've been baking since I was pretty much born. I'm playing, I don't bake at all. So considering the fact that macarons are one of the hardest cookies to make, I don't think this is gonna go well. But I found a recipe on Google that claimed to be foolproof, so I thought I'd try it out. The lighting in this video is about to be kind of questionable, so bear with me. So her recipe was for three eggs, but I'm gonna do one because if this turns out really bad, then no one's gonna eat it. Alright, so I decided I'm just gonna voice over the rest of the video because I started to feel awkward talking in the kitchen. So the first thing I did was crack the egg and pour the egg white into a bowl. It was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. And then I got my powdered sugar. Make sure that you have all of your supplies that actually work before you start. I didn't do that and it got really, really annoying. Anyways, I used two thirds of a cup of the sugar and I poured it into a sieve because you need everything to be extra powdery. And then I put the sugar away and got almond flour. It's pretty much just ground up almonds and I got a third of a cup of that and poured it into the sieve with the sugar. And then I shook it to make it powdery, forgetting that it's ripped on one side. So I had to pour everything back into the sieve and start all over again. It left a fat mess and I was already getting tired, but I somehow finished and cleaned up everything off of the counter. And then I got the regular sugar, you don't need too much. And then I got a pinch of salt and put them both into little containers. And then I squeezed a lemon to get half a teaspoon of lemon juice. And lastly, I got some food coloring. Then I put the sugar and flour into a bowl and mixed them together, making more of a mess. And then I got an even bigger bowl to beat my egg. I used an electric mixer and after it got all foamy, I added my salt and lemon to the mix and beat it some more. And it was coming out nice and fluffy just like how the lady in the video had it. So then I added the food coloring and regular sugar and mixed both of those things in. And it was looking really good. I was so hopeful that things were going to turn out great. So now I was supposed to put the flour mix and mix that in. She used a spatula but I didn't have one so I used a fat wooden spoon. As I was mixing it though, I realized that it was way too watery, so I started to question whether or not I put enough flour. I didn't have any more almond flour left, so I made the big stupid mistake of adding a whole extra third of a cup of sugar. It worked though, my batter's consistency was much better now, but I tasted it, and it was way too sweet. But I just hoped that it would be fine after it's baked, so I went to my oven and emptied it, and preheated it to 300 degrees. And then things got worse. So you're supposed to use parchment paper and I thought I had some but that was actually freezer paper and I searched up if I can use it and it said it could potentially burn my house down. So even though the lady specifically said not to add anything fatty to the tray, I rubbed margarine on it so that the macarons don't stick to it. After that I was supposed to pipe the batter onto the tray but I didn't have anything except this electric piper that we got as a present years ago. No one used it so I decided to give it a shot. After figuring out how I put it together, I started to fill it up and then it began to come out the other way but I still managed to put everything together. And then things got worse. I pressed the button to make the thing work and nothing happened. My entire family gave it a shot, but nothing was happening. It was just slowly pouring out through the other side. We tried to change the batteries and it just fell onto the tray. So I had no choice but to take everything out and put it into a plastic bag. It was extra sticky at this point, so things got really messy. Anyways, we cut a hole into the bag and tried to pipe it, but the hole was too small. So the bag made its own hole for me. Somehow I finished piping and I let it sit for 20 minutes because you're supposed to and you're also supposed to bang the tray on the counter so that all the bubbles pop out so I did that too. And then I took a tiny piece of butter since it was small I didn't want to use the electric mixer so I beat it with an egg beater. I was just so done with everything I just poured a random amount of powdered sugar and beat it some more while the sugar flew everywhere. And then it was too powdery so instead of using the orange peel for flavor I used orange juice. 
and needless to say it ended up tasting horrible. After leaving it in for 20 minutes, I opened the oven and it looked nothing at all like macarons. I was surprised though that the top was smooth, so that means I did something, right? Anyways, my mom took it out of the oven and we tried to take it out of the tray and it was stuck. After managing to take it off, I tried it and honestly it tasted and felt like wet cotton candy. And after it cooled down, it was really hard, but then I noticed two of them combined looking like a snowman, so I decided to put a face on it, but that one didn't last long either. At the end of the day, I was left with a big mess, lots of dishes to clean, and no edible macarons. So, that went a lot worse than I thought it could. Yeah, overall that was really bad. Make sure you actually have everything that the recipe needs. My batter tastes like garbage. It's sour. The cookie is sticky. It gets stuck in my teeth. So, if you're trying this and it comes out too watery, don't be stupid and add a whole cup of sugar. I definitely made it too big. Anyways, I think that brings me to the end of my video. If you stay till this point, comment down below some video ideas because I'm running out of them. Anyways, I'll see you in another episode of a little a bit of everything with lava. Hopefully that one turns out better. <laughs> Bye!